have is in Pascal's triangle, what they were able to do is they, they started writing down what the coefficients were for each term in our expansion. Well, here you obviously you're going to have 1. The coefficients of these two is 1 and 1. Then the coefficients here go 1, 2, 1. And then the next one was 1, 3, 3, 1. And the last one is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And what they noticed after doing this binomial expansion, that each of these terms added up being the sum of the coefficients above it. Right? You see how 1 plus 3 gives you 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we now know, I talked about in the binomial expansion, we know how to find what the, how the variables go, right? X, it starts with your degree, and then the x's decline, and the y's increase. And now looking at the coefficients, we can simply say, well, the next one's going to be 1. This one will be, right? And then if you want to do another row, OK? So this is what we call Pascal's triangle. All right? And even if I wanted to keep on going with this, because this is fun. Right? And you could just keep on going and on and on and on. And just notice that this is for each one of these degrees. This is when my degree is x of 0. This is x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x 6, and x 7. So that's just knowing where the degree is going to be the seventh power. So if I'm trying to do a binomial expansion for the seven, to the seventh degree, I know that these are going to be the coefficients of all of my terms. Or at least it's going to be multiplied by these coefficients. All right, depending obviously what our um, binomial is going to be. But that is your Pascal's triangle. OK? Got it? So you guys can easily work to create that on your own if need be when you take a